Hi, this is Dr. Jason Tripp right here in Hermitage, Pennsylvania. I'm a chiropractor and naturopath. Today we're talking about lower back pain. So if you've been having lower back pain, I want to talk to you about what some of the problems might be or what some of the cases might be that's causing it. In many cases, or most cases, when you're looking at a back pain, it's really just a tight muscle. Now, if you have a tight muscle, that means you can stretch, you can ice it for pain, you can stretch it for tightness, and within a couple days, it's gone. If you've had it three, four, five, seven days, it's not a muscle. Now, the muscle's involved, but you may have a nerve issue. There may be some kind of nerve pinch or nerve damage taking place, or even worse, you could actually get a disc that's bulged or herniated, and that could be causing that back pain as well. So you want to do the lower back pain severity exam to find out how bad it is, and that'll tell you which one it is. So we go through all nine factors of neuromusculoskeletal problems. What does that mean? nerve and muscle problems that cause pain in your back. What we found is that the most common cause of back pain is a pinched nerve when your spine is slightly out of alignment. It only has to move this much. Slightly out of alignment, it starts to rub and wear wrong. The longer it's rubbing and wearing, it builds up decay, it builds up arthritis. And arthritis is right now is the number one cause of disability in America. So if you're having a little pinched nerve, you're having that tight muscle and it's been there longer than three days, I would say get in and let's have a checkup. If it is just a muscle, it'll go away quickly. Stretch and ice it. If it's more than that, you need the severity exam. You need the lower back severity exam. We're going to test all nine factors. We're going to find out which it is. The last factor, if you need it, is a no needle and almost painless nerve test. This nerve test is 100% accurate and it'll differentiate. Is it a muscle? Is it a nerve damage that's mild, moderate, or marked? Or is it nerve damage that's from a disc? So it'll actually tell us which one it is that you have. And we go through all of that. So if you're looking to find out how to help your back pain, first find out what's wrong. Is it just a muscle? Is it just a bone out of line pinching a nerve? Or is it a disc issue, which is the worst one? So we don't want it to be any of that. But if it is, you need to find out. Secondly, based on that exam, you know what treatments you need to do. So obviously if it's a muscle, we're going to continue to stretch and ice and those kind of things. That's easy enough. You can do most of that on your own. We'll teach you what to do. Don't worry. If it's a nerve, that's when we have to look at the spine and is your spine crooked? Is your spine um, out of alignment in any way? And if it is, can it be put back? Now, some, most of you can, but if the amount of decay, the timeline that you have, if you let it go too long and you didn't get it fixed, then that could turn into a permanent problem. So don't let it go permanent and get this exam. But if it's already partially permanent, how much can be fixed? If it's already 20% permanent, but you're at 50%, you can fix it 30%. Make sense? So um, we're looking to find out how bad is it. And then once we find out how bad is it, that tells me what therapy to do. So the therapy for a bad back that's from a pinched nerve is to unpinch the nerve. <laughs> I think that makes sense. And so we use spinal adjustments, very gentle. We even use a machine for those that don't like hands-on adjusting. Um, basically, it's going to tap just like this rapidly until it moves the bone. And when that bone moves, we stop. That's it. It's very gentle. You can even do it after surgery. Like, it's amazing. So if you've had a problem for a long period of time and you just kind of, kind of like, ah, I'm not sure about this whole adjusting the spine thing, that's okay. This uh, instrument will help you anyway. Now, if it's an adjustment, then we have to do the adjustment. Then we need to stretch the ligament back into its proper place. It's a gentle stretch, but it needs to be done repetitively. And then lastly is to strengthen the muscle. Those three things will move the vertebra back into its alignment to give you good motion again so that you're not rubbing and wearing and tearing and creating arthritis. If it's a disc, now we have to do those same therapies, but in combination with disc decompression. So you take the disc and you gently separate it using a specialized table. Most doctors don't know, uh, have one. Matter of fact, most doctors don't even know about this therapy. This have to have a lot of training, advanced training in spinal decompression in order to be able to use this therapy properly. And I've done a lot of therapy or training in this um, spinal decompression over the last 10 years. I've been certified in spinal decompression. I even taught at two universities, chiropractic universities, um, helping others to learn how to better understand how to help when you have this type of problem. So uh, long story short, if you have it, you can 
use this table to gently stretch the spat back just a little bit like this. As it does, it pumps fluid back into the disc, which will hydrate and heal your disc. So even if you have a disc issue, you can reverse the problem and get that nagging back pain better. If you've had this problem for years, I'm definitely going to tell you, you need to at least get checked up. Find out what's going on. If you're watching this and the, it's not for you, you're a spouse of someone who had pain, I want you to put that in the comments. Hey, this is for my husband. This is for my wife, whatever. Um, and once you put that comment in there, go show them the video, like click and say, hey, watch this video. Because if they've had it a long period of time, they could be getting worse to the point that it's permanent and no way to get it better. We don't ever want to see that. If you've had that kind of a problem for a long period of time, you need to get it checked. So I'm going to say, uh, come call the office 724-342-2225, 724-342-2225. Call the office, ask for the lower back pain severity exam, and we will help you figure out exactly what's going on. I'm talk I'll talk to you soon.